Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to put the Umi Digi S3 Pro for some gaming tests, Asphalt 9 and PUBG as normal. For Asphalt 9, I'm going to be using the iPega controller, which I haven't used in a while, so I thought I'd dig it out. It saves me having to hold the, the phone, so I'll have the phone on the stand. So just a quick recap. It's a 1080p display, 2340 by 1080p, Android 9, octa-core processor, Helio P70, 6 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of storage, eight cores, Mali G72 MP3. So I'm expecting some decent gaming performance here. Let's jump in. So if we go into settings, sound and display, high quality, that's what we're going in at. Let's go. Play. Let's go. Whoa. It's weird using a remote control for this because, oh, finished already, wow. Next. It's weird having a control for this because in all fairness, there's not much to do apart from drifting and NOS. Here we go again. Drift in, hit the nose. So much better not having to hold the, the actual phone. Get some more nos. Bit of drifting. So high quality settings this is on, guys. Looks great, I must say. And performance looks brilliant as well. I did expect pretty good game of performance on this smartphone given the specifications and this is another one ended another quick one let's have one more one more race let's ramp it oh oh up the ramp you go Yeah, I'm loving the game on this phone. Uh, the race is finished already. That'll do, guys. Three games of Asphalt 9 on the Yumi Digi S3 Pro, and it smashed it. Really, really great gameplay. Looks brilliant as well. I don't think I experienced any glitches at all. It's a shame I can't play PUBG with this controller. Right, let's jump onto PUBG. Do I want to keep it medium, or should I... Put it on high. Right. I'll put it on high in the settings. HD. Can't do HDR. HD, high frame rate. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have it on max settings at the moment. So you should expect some great detail I was going to use my stinger triggers but they run out of battery so I have to make do with my rubbish oh gaming let's go over here Okay, then parachute is out. Same for this little area here, shall we? Well, it looks great on this screen, guys. Sharp. 
Seems quite smooth at the moment as well. Let's mute them. Muted, here we go. Okay, so graphics look super. Let's see what performance is like, shall we? So let's go and have a look in one of these. Oh, what we got? Nothing at the moment. There we go, we have a gun. Aim. Yep, fast, responsive. That's good. So we're here. Band aid. Let's jump out of here, shall we? Oh, God. So I hate having no triggers because I'm so clumsy in this game. I keep pressing shoot, don't I? Come on, let's get some decent guns. Nothing. Let's drive. Got me some people here, aren't there? All the doors seem to be shut. Nothing of any use at all. Where are they? I'm going to get killed. Where are they? Got to be down there. Gotcha! Gotcha! Guy got lots of stuff in there. He had loads. So I'm very, very happy with the way the Umi Digi S3 Pro is gaming. I really, really like the display. Sharp, crisp, and also having it in HD mode um, helps as well. It makes it look a hell of a lot better. So you can have it in high settings. And it still seems to be performing rather well. Boost. Woohoo! <laughs> right, nothing around here. Someone over there. Crap. So what the hell am I doing? Oh my god. What a crap. Okay, I died. But I know for one thing, S3 Pro has smashed the gaming test. I thought it ran really, really well on HD settings. 
on PUBG. It's a little bit warm though. Bit fingerprinty as well. Yeah, they just does get a little bit hot. But that is it guys. The Umi Digi S3 is a gaming smartphone. You can play high intensive games on there at high settings. So a uh, thumbs up. The review of this will be coming next week once I've tested everything else. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.